I don't have time to skim through these books. It lacks signal. Perhaps somebody was trying to get to the stored data. It seems their attempts were futile though. I don't intend to get on the ledge again without a very good reason. I can't leave. Several blank sheets of paper and a half-drunk cup of coffee. I'll have a look inside. Barbora's ID card. Barbora Konska. ID 87, Central City Archive. There's something inside it shimmering beautifully. I couldn't wait any longer. Somebody knows everything. The professor will tell you where I live. Come see me there. I hope you will find this message. Barbora. My cell phone. There's a lot of money in it. I've taken some extra for the journey. this. She's dead. What happened here? Why was she killed? What could she have known of such importance? There's some blood at the bottom. The murderer must have washed the blood off their hands. Its fur glitters nicely. The collar reads, Felix. That's it. This is the file. Yes, West Bohemia. I got it. What news have you got, Martin? The worst imaginable, I suppose. And things are getting worse as I'm speaking. What's going on over there? The police. I've got to speak fast, so listen carefully. When I finally got into the flat, somebody knocked me out before I could even take a look around. I only regained consciousness in the morning and... I found Barbora's body in the bathtub. She's dead. What? Yes. That's awful. Okay, listen. There isn't much we can do. You've got to get out of there. Quick! Definitely. I found the exact location of the mine in the computer, but obtaining the permission will be a problem. I'll think of something. Just don't get distracted and leave the apartment right away. They mustn't find you there, or the whole plan would go down the drain. You're right. I'll, I'll call you again after things cool off. They're here. I don't want to run into the police in the hall. Oh well, I have no other choice than to leave by the window.
I set off to the building where Barbora worked. Central City Archive. It's Martin. I was getting anxious waiting for your call. It seemed like you were taking forever. Well, I couldn't ring you any earlier. I barely avoided detection. And there are you now, anyway. I went straight to the Central Archive where Barbora worked. It seemed like the best thing to do. Good idea. Her death is a shock to me. It's terrible. But we mustn't stop. I wasn't able to find the things that she was supposed to give me in her apartment. How do I obtain the permission to enter the mine now? I can't possibly arrive and just waltz in. That you certainly can't. I'm told the site is now guarded by soldiers. They found a couple of old mines from the war. Getting access is now an absolute necessity. Unfortunately, there's no way I can help you from over here. You'll definitely need a report on the discovery. With that, you'll go to the State Institute of Care of Historic Monuments and get a new permission to enter the site. That won't be easy, though. I have no data for such a report. Get into Bobora's office. You might be able to find what you need over there. You could even find the permission form she was supposed to give you. Who knows? You'll have to manage the rest on your own, Martin. Good luck. Thanks. I'll call when I've learned something new. Central City Archive. Excuse me, sir. Where do you think you're going? Do you have a visitor's card? No, I I'm afraid I don't have one. Well, are you an announced visitor? No, I'm not. I mean... I in that case, I can't let you in. Only employees can enter. No exceptions. I understand. Please, step back. It's not what you think. I've come to see a friend of mine. The appointment has been arranged. I've got no visits listed for today. And that's how things work around here. Every visit has to be announced in advance. And who is this person you've come to see, anyway? A Barbora Kanska. I'm supposed to wait for her in her office. She even gave me her ID card in case I arrived before she did. Hmm. Let's see that card, then. The card looks valid, but I still can't let you in. I have a bad feeling about this. So what do you want me to do? Well, I already told you. Every visitor must be announced in advance. Please, arrange an official appointment. But it's not like I can do that, given Miss Kanska is not present. Sorry, those are the rules. You can wait for her here. Now, if that's all, I'd like to get back to solving my puzzle. Right. Good morning. Good morning! Hmm. Perhaps you can't hear me. Good morning! Can you hear me? But Leave me alone, young man! May I ask you something? I say, mind your own business! I can't hear you any way! This is a waste of time. He's deaf as a rock. Closed. 
Perhaps they're on their lunch break. I'll come back later. No, I don't need anything. Damn! What was that? <laughs> Don't you know this is dangerous? I mean, throwing this stuff at people. Hmm, no, not really. But you are fine though, aren't you? Yes, but... See? Who gave you those firecrackers? My father. Ah, uh, come on. Okay, okay, it was my brother. In fact, he doesn't know I've bought them. <laughs> Listen, why don't you give them to me? No? Why should I? Right. How about I give you something in return? In return? Like what? Uh, I'm not sure. Would chewing gum do? Hmm. Not interested. You need to go fancier than that. I'll think of something, but stop throwing that, all right? <sighs> Fine. I'll wait here for a bit. There's only garbage and some trash bins at the end of the subway. That would be a waste of time. No, I don't need anything. Don't worry. I'm just looking. I won't be throwing anything again. Good. Will you give me those firecrackers then? Did you get me something nice yet? No, I haven't come up with anything yet. Then I'm keeping the firecrackers. Would you care for a colorful marble? Mm, if it's real nice, then I do. It's quite big, and there's a little star in the middle. Okay, dear. The firecrackers were starting to bore me anyway. Nobody ever comes here. I'll house them down in a bucket. And you put the marble in it, okay? Agreed. Wow, this is nice. Thanks. I must leave. I want to show it to my brother. All right. See ya. <laughs> Bye! These are capable of quite a bang. What do you want? Leave me alone. <laughs> ah, nice day to you too. Ha! Huh. You're some joker! Huh. Actually, it was nice until that bang woke me up. What the hell was that anyway? Just a firecracker. Little brats causing trouble again, eh? I guess a good spanking wouldn't help. I really need to get a smoke. Don't you have one? No, I don't smoke. Well, then there's not much to talk about then. But there's a tobacco stand over there. Why don't you buy me a pack, eh? What am I getting in return? Uh, probably nothing, but you definitely improved my mood. Man, I really got to light one up. Come on, don't be a cheapskate. Well, I don't know. Another bloody day then. Look, just leave me alone.
Good morning. Uh, I'd like a box of matches. Will that be all? Yes, thanks. Two crowns. I'd like a pack of cigarettes, please. What brand? It doesn't matter. Something under 50 crowns? Okay, here. 45 crowns. A full box of ordinary matches. A cheap brand, but with filter. Here, I brought you those cigarettes. Craig, thanks! You're a lifesaver! A good brand, too! Now I owe you! If you need anything, just ask! Maybe some other time. Okay, you'll find me here. The bureau is closed during lunchtime. He can't hear a single word. I'll leave him alone. This should warrant a bit of attention for me. Oh, great! A flying of Crazy birds! If one cares to feed them! H Hello! How are you? Right, okay, I suppose. May I talk to you now? Sure, but why do you shout like that? What? You you can hear me? I mean, you can hear me fine. Well, when I put on my earpiece, I can hear you as if I were young again. What do you want, anyway? Do you come here often? Yeah, pretty often. In fact, I come here every day when the weather's good. I have nothing to do anyway, but I don't recall seeing you around here before. Yes, I just need to check something out in the archives. Then you're speaking to the right person. I can give you advice. I worked 30 years as a doorman in there, you see, and my nephew took the job after I retired. Right. It is possible that you could help me. Okay, what's the trouble? You know how things work when it comes to entering the building. You bet I do. It's certainly not like anybody can just simply march in, you know. And that happens to be my problem, too. Well, I suppose I could get you in, but I'm not going to help you for nothing. So, how much do you want? <laughs> oh my, who's talking about money? I don't want money. I'm playing cards with a couple of friends tonight, but I don't feel like going to the store to buy wine. My legs aren't what they used to be. Get me a bottle of red wine. None of that's cheap stuff. A fancy brand if you can. I'll get hold of something and we'll see. Sounds good, Sam. We have nothing to talk about. I see you also sell boxed wine. Would you have something bottled, too? No, I'm afraid that's all we have. Fine, I'll have this one then. 28 crowns. Thanks. It must be very hot inside there. Boxed wine of questionable quality.
I noticed those wine bottles on the windowsill. Yeah, and I wish they were full. I could use one. <laughs> what? You want an empty bottle from a beggar? Uh, man, I knew instantly you'd be a riot. Take whichever one you want. I owe you for those smokes anyway. I don't need anything from him. It's quite clean. I'll pour the wine into the bottle with care. I've poured the wine from the paper box into the bottle. It looks as if I've just bought it. I've got the wine I promised to bring. Quality brand, as you wished. Oh, right. This is a nice one, too. I didn't save on it. Very well. We have a deal. I suppose it's my turn to return the favor. Here, take this. It's my old employee's ID card. Show it to my nephew in the front. He'll know. Is that it? Yes. All right, thanks. There is nothing to talk about. The key to my way through the lodge into the archive. Would you have a minute? You again? I told you what you need to do to get inside. Arrange a formal visit or wait here with me until Miss Barbara shows up. Well, I, I don't have much time. There is nothing I can do about that. Jesus, will you leave me alone? Calm down. I'm told I need to give you this, that you know what it means? Hmm. Let's see. Aha. Uh -huh. That's a different story, then. Very well. Listen. Go anywhere you want. But if you cause any trouble, I'll swear I haven't seen you in my life. Is that clear? Perfectly. Miss Kanska's office is in the basement, door number 24. And I hope you won't spend the whole day in there. We have nothing to talk about. I think I should look around here some more. Tube post. It will look up and deliver any document from the archive according to an assigned code. A vending machine. I'm not thirsty at the moment. Employee ID card reader. The door to the office is locked. drawers for storing documents. It would take forever to find something in these. A common office printer.
input code. Hmm. Felix, Barbora's pet. It is an ordinary pencil sharpener. A notepad, the pages are blank. There seems to be traces of ball pen embossed text on the paper. That reminds me of something. Hmm. Records from years 1983, 1984, and 1985. Nothing I'd be interested in at the moment. The drawer is locked. Neither end is sharpened. I can't write much this way. A small metal pencil sharpener. The pencil has a sharp tip. The text is quite legible now. Some numbers. Hmm. It could use some watering. A small key was hidden under the flower pot. It was hidden under the flower pot. the stamp of the Central Archive. I'll skim through Barbora's email. This looks interesting. The State Institute of Care of Historic Monuments from Peter Nadol, probably the person who sent the report form to Barbora. I'll print out a copy. A copy of the report prepared by Barbora. There's nothing in it. The pockets are empty. I don't know the necessary code. D3-7422. The system took several minutes to deliver the document. I didn't know what Barbora had stored in the archive. That made my waiting even longer. It seemed to take forever.
Maybe this is what Barbora's murderer was looking for. The original Nibiru project documentation from 1943. Codename ni.bi.ru Created March 15, 1936 Section Application of New Technologies Weapon Systems Location Kohnstein Nordhausen Officer in Charge of the Research G. Malmström Deputy Officer in Charge of the Research D. Romhart Scientific Staff Count 7 Men Military staff count, 12 men. Project scope, research of the possibility of contact of extraterrestrial entities with the ancient Mayan and Sumerian civilizations. Analysis of new metals and other materials found on archaeological sites in Mexico and their utilization in new weapon technologies. The professor was right. The Germans were closer than anybody could have imagined. There is nothing to talk about. At last, lunch break is over and the bureau is open. An armchair for the guests. I don't want to sit down. Good morning. Good morning, sir. How may I help you? My name is Martin Holen, and I'm with the International Archaeological Organization. I need to have a permission slip validated to enter a site of historical discovery. What kind of discovery, and where is it located? Western Bohemia. That's all I can tell you. Hmm, hush hush. What's this all about then? Well, you need to fill in these two forms and I'll queue up your application. But you see, I need that validation slip immediately. I can't wait until tomorrow. Isn't there something I could do to speed things up? I'm afraid not. There are many applications, and we are required to not make any exceptions. So when would my application be processed? Not before tomorrow, but more likely the day after tomorrow. I can't possibly wait that long. I understand, but there's no other way. So, do you want those forms? No thanks. I'll come back later. All right, then. You can't enter that office, sir. The president is busy and doesn't wish to be disturbed. Oh, of course. I I'm sorry. She won't let me in. Can I have your call card? Oh, sure. Feel free to take fun. Thanks. The call card of the secretary from the institute. I don't need anything from him. What can I do for you, sir? We talked about a permission slip validation, Western Bohemia. Oh, yes, I remember that. You've come in to fill the forms, right? Well, I, I really need to have this dealt with fast, and I definitely can't wait until tomorrow. Couldn't I just walk into the office next door and get the single necessary stamp? Like I've already told you, 
You'll have to follow the rules. Besides, Mr. President is too busy today. And we don't make exceptions, sir. No exceptions. Got it. Listen, I've got work to do. You need anything else? Uh, no, thanks. Bye. Goodbye. I could use some information. Don't you happen to know a young woman who works in this building right here behind you? About 25, slim, blonde? Hmm. Yeah, I probably know the one you mean. What about her? Which car does she drive to work in? Well, since it's you and with all the smokes and all, why wouldn't I tell? She's got a silver Mercedes. Always parks it around the corner here. And the license plate number? <laughs> You're kidding, right? What am I, a PI? What do I care about license plate numbers? A silver Mercedes. That'll do, thanks. Yeah, and try not to get your ass kicked. She's probably got the car from that jerk who waits for her here from time to time. Well, I'm not gonna try to get a date, but I'll watch out anyway, thanks. The license plate number is 1A71537. Monuments care. Good morning. How can they help you? Good morning, miss. Uh, Prague Water Supply and Sewerage here. We've come across a small problem. Maybe you can help us. Well, this is the President's secretary. What's the trouble? We need to get inside a sewer right next to your building, but there's a vehicle parked over it. They gave me this number. Wouldn't you happen to know whom the car belongs to? It's an A. I, I mean, a Mercedes. A Mercedes? That's my car! What's the license plate number? 1A71537. Jesus Christ, that's my car! What a pleasant coincidence! I hope the car is alright. I've only had it for a couple of months. Ah, uh, don't worry, miss. We've barely touched it. But could you come down and repark? I can't leave the office right now. Is it absolutely necessary? Yes, we've got work to do, and having the vehicle towed away might waste a lot of time. Towed away? Oh wait, hold on! I'll be there in a minute. Okay, we'll wait for a bit, but please don't delay us unnecessarily. No, I won't. I'm coming right away. Thank you for calling. You're welcome. Bye. The report doesn't look too authentic. A copy of the report prepared by Barbora. The report now fulfills all prerequisites. Good morning. Excuse me, but who let you in? I have no time for a personal appointment today. Mr... Holan. Martin Holan. I apologize for disturbing you, but, uh, the door was open, so I entered. How come my secretary even allowed you to enter? I distinctly said I didn't want to be disturbed. Well, there was nobody in the office. Really? Those are explicit instructions. 
Well, I'll have to handle that later. Let's get to why you're here. Why have you come to see me? I'm with the International Archaeological Organization and need your authority to validate a permission to enter a site in western Bohemia where a German mine from around the end of World War II was uncovered. I've got the report on the discovery right here. Oh, yes. I've heard something about that already. Tell me more. I'm afraid to disappoint you, but I only know as well what's in the report. You see, I've been studying the war for some time now. I'm very interested in that particular period, and Peter wanted me to go have a look. I'm supposed to learn the details at the site. Peter Nebel? Yes. Do you know him? We went to the same school. I remember him from a few of the bars and drink fests we hung out in. <laughs> Why haven't you applied for the validation approval formally? You see, I'm going to visit my uncle in France. Peter's call was pretty much unexpected, and I promised I'd check out the site before I left. Oh, I understand. Trouble is, I have no idea if that permission will do you any good. How do you mean? I got a call yesterday. They're afraid the corridors might be undermined. We asked for an explosive squad to investigate the whole area. You know what havoc people outside our field can wreak before we even get to the site? You're right. At any rate, I'll validate your permission form. Just one condition. I'd like you to call me when you're finished over there. Oh, and say hello to Peter from me. Gladly. Thank you. I rented a car and set off directly to the location where the mine had been discovered. A lot of thoughts were running through my mind on the way. Soon the silhouette of the forest emerged on the horizon. <laughs> 